Select the File Export DXF option from the Rock Plot 2D menu. Enter the name for the DXF file that is to be created. Expand the scaling options by clicking the plus sign to the left of the scaling options item. The program allows you to export your DXF file using the original X and Y coordinates. It also allows you to rescale with a specific vertical exaggeration. You can even independently adjust the horizontal and vertical scale factors as well as setting new origin coordinates. For this exercise, we'll just use the original coordinates without any vertical exaggeration. But remember, you can always apply this stretching within your own projects. This is important because AutoCAD does not easily allow for rescaling of X and Y independently. The pattern densities are used to adjust the patterns if they appear either too small or too large within AutoCAD or whatever other program you might be exporting to. Now, collapse the scaling options by clicking on the minus button to the left of the scaling options item. Expand the Layers option by clicking on the plus sign to the left of the Layers item. You will be presented with three options for defining the DXF layering. The first option combines everything into a single layer. The second option creates layers that correspond to the Rockplot 2D layers. The third option will break up the diagram into layers based on the fundamental DXF entity types. If you plan on giving these diagrams to a CAD department for subsequent editing, you'll score some points by using this option. The Include Elevations option should be turned off unless you're exporting a contour map. We will be covering contour maps later on in this course. Be sure that the Plot with Default Viewer option is unchecked, though in your own work this is a great way to view the exported file immediately if you have AutoCAD or another DXF viewer or editor. Once you have explored your options, click on the Process button to create the DXF file and close the window. For more information about the DXF export options, be sure to check the embedded instructions within the DXF export menu.